Hi, Nicole Collins here, and I was recently asked how to place a retargeting pixel on a page that also has an opt-in form, and we're going to go through that step by step right now. So I'm um, just going to actually start from the beginning and start with the blank page. Uh, the blank page uh, is here, so I'm going to open that in my text my HTML editor, and I've actually already done that. Here, here it is. Here's the open uh, text editor, HTML editor document. Uh, on when it's online, it will look like this. Uh, but we're going to drop in form code um, instead of this or underneath this. So let's go to I, I use get response so let's quickly make a form you know we're basically we're starting from scratch just so you can see the whole process I've logged into my get response account and I'm going to create new I'm just going to blow through this fairly quickly and this is where you would design your form I'm just gonna leave everything as is go to next Uh, this doesn't. This is then the thank you page. Where do I want it to go? I'm for the purposes of this video. You know, let's just say, let's just go to the default because that's not really relevant for this. So we're gonna hit next, and we're gonna get the code for our web form, which is right here. Grab that, paste that into our HTML document we will so we'll replace that so we're going to place it between the body tags here's the open body tag here's the closed body tag and that's the content of our website and that's going to be the HTML uh, sorry that's the web form so let's go ahead and save that and now when we look at the document this is just on on my desktop but this is what it's gonna look like when we put it online there's the web form okay so now we have a web form and we now want to place a, a retargeting pixel on this page so all that is is when someone gets comes to this page you drop a cookie into their browser and you can then retarget them through, you know, Site Scout, Perfect Audience, Ad Roll, services like that. So currently, we just have a web form on a page. This is an extremely basic page. And I don't do a lot of retargeting right now, but I do do a lot of tracking and place, placing pixels on pages is it's the same concept. So let's. I what I did was I went over to um, Site Scout. And this is what you, after you created a, a campaign, or I'm not sure what it's called, a, a campaign or the equivalent of a campaign, they would give you this retargeting pixel, you know, open script, close script, to drop on your page. And this would cookie people that landed on that page to then do retargeting advertising on them. Okay, so I have a, although I don't have a retargeting pixel, I have something very similar. So let's say this is a retargeting pixel. I just want to show you how you would set the page up. And that's exactly, this is exactly how you would do it. The fact that this is not actually a retargeting pixel doesn't really matter. It, it's, it may as well be. So all you would do is take the retargeting pixel that Site Scout gives you our perfect audience or ad roll. And again, they would give it, give it to you and it would look just like this. This is literally, this is from the Site Scout website, their help section you know right here tells you exactly how to do it once you've copied this code paste it into the HTML of the web page uh, and then you, you put it right before the closing body tag and that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna copy that and find the closing body tag which is right here so basically we put it right under our web form there's the pixel so this line is our web form and this line is the retargeting pixel and it's not going to change the look of the page at all the let's let me just show you I'm gonna save it 
refresh this, the page looks exactly the same, but the retargeting pixel is now on there. Let me see if I can view the page source. Um, not sure that I can. I can, okay. Uh, this this is not online right now, it's just on my desktop, but online it would look exact same way. And what I've done is look at the page source, and you can see here that, again, there's the web form, and there's the retargeting pixel, but it doesn't display when people view the page, which is good. You don't want them to see it. So that's how you place a pixel on a web page with an autoresponder on it. Same goes for any any page. You just place the pixel 99% of the time right above the closing body tag on any HTML web page, okay? Hope this was helpful. Uh, for more tips and strategies on uh, making money online and uh, increasing your online success, head on over to internetpoweredincome.com. That's internetpoweredincome.com. And again, this is Nicole Collins. Please feel free to leave me any comments either here or on my site. Love to hear from you. Happy to answer any questions you might have about anything internet marketing related. Thanks.